Hi everyone, welcome to another Drive with Care video. I've crossed the border, I'm in East Sussex, and for this short video I'm going to take you round the um, old historic town of Rye. Now Rye is a sinkport town, and it used to, it still has a harbour, um, but in days of yore it was surrounded by water and so the town is actually up on a hill. So what I want to do is drive around the sort of circumference road and then up into the town before dropping back down to the circumference road and then we'll conclude the video. Really it's just a case of I want to see what kind of hazards I'll encounter, the things I'm expecting and of course my favourite thing, people who don't use their indicators because they're privileged and special because we share the roads with these people. So let's do a little cut, one of those a few moments later, and we'll be straight in at Rye. Later. Okay, here we go. We are in the ancient town of Rye. 30 mile an hour zone, and that's quite right. We've got some kind of sign telling me slippery road. <laughs> but the UK's in a, <laughs> what, what do we call it? A heat wave at the moment and all the grass is scorched. So pretty much like my town videos, we're gonna have vehicles parked on the sides of the road. If it's my side, I'll have to give way. If it's on the opposite side, I would hope that oncoming vehicles would give way. So a bit of a blind bend here. Car, doing a parallel. There's another car at a junction. She waited, that's cool. Car coming. Lots of hazards, eh? Now I can't, he has to go. Got a motorcycle beckoning me. That's cool. Now I've got a very blind junction up ahead. I want to turn left, but it's one of these kind of, you know, V-shaped. Very sensible old chap, big old brolly while you're walking. We got 33 degrees on my temperature gauge all clear okay so we go over this bridge you can see the um, archway there we're gonna head up there and then into the town but we have to follow the road round because it's kind of a one-way system so we've got a blind bend but a hidden junction all clear roundabout ahead I want to turn right so I will indicate let the cars behind me know my intentions truck coming from the right but he stopped so he didn't know what he wanted to do but he is from Belgium <laughs> and they might not be familiar with our UK roads okay rather narrow a road here it's the um, 256 that goes all the way from Deal or, or um, Margate all the way down to Hastings and then into Eastbourne all along the bottom coast of England. I'm keeping my speed at 25. It's probably a 30 zone. We've got a blind bend up ahead. I'm spying reflections in windows and cars to see if I can see any oncoming traffic. Nothing parked on the main road. It's rather cool. Sign tells me the road narrows ahead. You can see all the reflections in the house windows. Use that to your advantage. You can use that to see if there's any oncoming traffic. Pedestrians. Cars on the right, nothing coming. I want to turn right at the roundabout. There's a pedestrian there. He's happy to keep walking on the road. Policeman's indicating, that's jolly good. Lead by example, right? Indicate off. Now the sign tells me all traffic swings to the left, so there's a no entry up ahead. 
and also a give way sign. There's a truck not indicating anything, so I don't know his intentions. However, I didn't indicate because I could only turn left anyway. I'm taking the right hand lane, so I will indicate here. It's not a giveaway, so any vehicles from the left there would just filter through. Now I want the town centre, so I'm going to stay in the left lane. No one at the crossing. Railway station on my left, no pedestrians in the road. It's quite a busy little town, this, actually. Looks like one of those old towns, you know, where the bus station was the centre or, or the hub. Right, police car's indicating. He looks like he's going to stop or turn in the junction. There's a British gas van. Pedestrian with a box. Car coming out of a junction. Mini rail. Oh, pedestrians. I'm going straight across here. And now comes the tricky bit. We've got to traverse Rye High Street. So I'm going to go right here into the town centre via the narrow arch. Isn't this wonderful? Driving through a narrow arch. So this is a one-way system now. Potentially no vehicles coming in my direction. But there could be delivery vans, pedestrians obviously. So we cannot race around this place. And of course there's going to be cars parked everywhere. Lady loading her car. Give her a moment. No acknowledgement that I stopped for her. You're quite welcome, madam. Okay, what can I look for here? Obviously pedestrians spying things in shop windows and then just randomly walking across. <laughs> I can't take any chances here. I'm not even going to look at you on the camera. I'm just going to keep my eyes on the road. When there are cars parked all the way down, people are going to be crossing between vehicles. Delivery car on the right, or a van. Never know if his doors are going to swing open. Crunch goes the car door. Cyclist ahead. <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh couple of brain cells short there, I reckon. Pedestrians with their backs to me are always a hazard. Cyclists in the road, cyclists going down the road. See how narrow this lane gets. There's no way I can overtake the cyclist. What do you think of these old English towns, eh? You want to come to Rye, it's wonderful. So what's he doing? Balancing act? love Rye. It's so quaint. And of course I got the aircon on. <laughs> it's the only thing to do, come out for a drive when you when there's a heat wave. Or sit and have an ice cream look, the ice cream shop on Mermaid Street. Everyone's sitting out enjoying. So I'm going to go down here I think. I'm going to find myself somewhere to park because there's a used record shop down here and I'm after a particular record <laughs> so I'll indicate right again go back on the main street and conclude this video well you know what I'm gonna go left changed my mind <laughs> because I think I might be able to park on the main road here because you're coming shopping with me now too narrow I couldn't park in there oh I can park right here Lovely, that's what I wanted. Nothing behind me, so I just went for it. Do a little bit of parallel parking here. And that concludes Rye. How many hazards did I spot? 
And how many hazards did you see that I didn't see? There was no issue of people not indicating because there was only the police car in front of me. So not a bad little um, jaunt. That was all about hazard perception, really, nothing else. Um, and it's unusual that I can close the video without driving. <laughs> you know, handbrakes applied, seatbelt can come off. I'm in a parking spot. I will say thanks for watching, bearing with, and I'll see you in another driving video. <laughs> Bye for now, and drive with care.